So it turns out that lead, the toxic substance which isn't very helpful for us now, may have been key to our evolutionary story as Homo sapiens. Scientists were looking to see whether lead exposure had an impact on early human brain development, and they found some really interesting results. The researchers discovered that ancient hominids, including early humans and great apes, were exposed to lead nearly 2 million years before we ever started mining it. They found lead in 73% of 51 fossilized teeth from species across Africa, Asia, Europe, including Neanderthals and Australopithecus africanus, some of the oldest ancestors we have. And unlike in the 1900s, the culprit was an industry, it may have actually been water. The team suggests early hominids were drawn to caves with running water, caves that naturally contained lead deposits. Even infants were exposed through this contaminated environment. Strangely, the researchers found similar lead patterns in people that were born between 1940 and 1970 during the era of leaded gasoline and paint. The link between ancient and modern exposure is striking to say the least. It shows that we've had persistent lead contamination throughout human history. The researchers found that the key to surviving all of this comes down to one tiny genetic mutation. A single DNA change in the Nova 1 gene, which regulates brain development, sets modern humans apart from Neanderthals. When scientists recreated brain organoids with the Neanderthal version of the Nova 1 gene, they developed faster, but became less complex over time. And when the modern and archaic Nova 1 variants were exposed to lead to compare the two, their gene activity shifted, influencing conditions like autism and epilepsy. But only the ancient version of the Nova 1 gene disrupted the FOXP2, the gene tied to speech and language. That means that Neanderthal-like brains may have struggled with complex communication. And this is the key discovery. The team believes this genetic update in the Nova 1 gene protected modern humans against lead's damaging effects on the brain, allowing language and social cooperation to flourish. This could have given us the edge needed to outcompete and ultimately outlive the Neanderthals. This study shows and suggests that even toxic environmental stresses can push evolution forward in a surprising way, shaping not just our brains, but our ability to communicate, organize, and create society. Lead may have been both a curse and a catalyst, poisoning our ancestors while forging the brains that made us human. If you enjoyed this video, like, comment, share, follow, and I'll see you in the next one.